One of the most interesting cases that I have had to date was a four-year-old boy who was at a barbecue eating when he suddenly grabbed his ear and started crying, complaining of ear pain. So they brought him to the emergency department and he has a totally normal ear exam, like there's nothing. They said, do some ibuprofen, CENT in a couple days. So two days later, went and saw ENT, they did a full exam and again, there's nothing, totally normal exam. So family was doing ibuprofen and some numbing drops in the ear at home and nothing was helping. So two more days later, came back to the emergency department and they did a CAT scan of the mastoid, which is kind of like this area here without contrast, didn't see anything, looks totally normal, told him to follow up with the pediatrician and ENT again in a couple days. So then another two or three days later, so now we're between day seven and day 10, he comes back to the emergency department at 4.30 in the morning and I'm the doctor on. Now he's having some fevers and he's not wanting to eat and drink and we have no idea what's going on with him. His ear exam was totally normal and he was still complaining of ear pain. On the throat exam, he did have a little bit of swelling of the kind of tonsillar area on the right side and a little bit of tenderness in the neck on the right side also. So we went all out. We did a CAT scan of the neck, which included the ears uh, with contrast. And we did a ton of labs, gave him fluids, just did every test that we could think of doing. And we got our answer on the CAT scan. He had about a two centimeter metal wire that was lodged in the peritonsillar tissues on the right. And he'd started to develop an abscess around it. And he had been eating a hamburger when this had happened. So the grill brush, the metal wires on the grill brush had become lodged in the hamburger. And when he ate the hamburger, it got lodged in the soft tissues. He was feeling the pain in his ear probably because of the eustachian tube, the tube that drains the ear to the back of the throat is in that area. So he was probably feeling pressure and irritation from that and that's why he was having pain there. Ended up going to the operating room with the ear, nose and throat surgeons and they were able to remove this and drain the abscess and he was started on some antibiotics and his pain was completely resolved, but do not use grill brushes with metal wires. There's not only the risk that it can get lodged in the soft tissues in your throat, but they can also cause bowel obstructions and perforations in the abdomen if accidentally swallowed. And like I said, they get mixed in the hamburger or the meat that's being cooked on the grill. Grill brushes, pretty crazy, good case.